Hey, what's up guys? This is Jay. This is Charles. We are at Lacroix HQ today. Uh, we are about to make a little tutorial about the self-tensioning belt drive system. Um, we had received a few questions in the past few days and uh, me and Charles will try to answer uh, your different question. What is amazing about the Super Sport lineage is the fact that they come with the new uh, self-tensioning belt drive system, which was not on the previous OG uh, Nazari and OG Lone Star. So Charles, what's the main difference betwe between the two uh, belt drive system? Mm -hmm. So what we improved with the self-adjusting belt drive system is that we now put springs in them. So now they're spring loaded in order for you to tension your belts easier. And the other improvement that we made is just making it a little more compact. We made it a slight tad more shorter than our previous version. Okay, cool. So Charles, what are the tools that we're gonna need to adjust the bell drive system? Okay, so generally you'll only need the four millimeter Allen key. And if you're changing out a belt, it's best that you have a 19 millimeter socket wrench so you can take out the actual wheel nut to make the adjustment after. Okay, perfect. Let's get down to business. Okay, so let's put it over the edge just to make it a little bit easier here. So strong. <laughs> well, so the easiest way you can make the adjustment is literally by loosening the two screws that hold the motor to the actual base of the motor mounts. So what you're going to do is you're going to grab your four mil Allen key. You're going to jump right here and loosen both screws, top and bottom. And then you're going to have a little bit of wiggle room and you can, you're able to push down on the actual motor mount. And after that, you just let it do its thing. You're going to tighten the first bolts just like so. You can check the tension. It should be perfect the first time when you screw everything in and then you screw in the last bolts here at the bottom and then it's good easy like that just like that wow okay well that was the easy part Charles. uh when you ordered your board maybe you ordered it with the falcon gear drive so and you took the um uh, self-adjusting system on the side if you want to do the change, like, I mean, you want to remove your fucking gear drive and you want to jump on the self-tensioning uh, belt system, well, there's few things you might need to do. So uh, Charles is about to show you how to do it. Uh, we'll show you on a hyper truck on the side. So uh, first we'll remove that board. And we will need hyper truck, obviously a motor. Mm -hmm. The springs that come with the self-tensioning system. This motor one. mount base. Some screw. And all the hardware that comes boop, with boop. the boop. adjustable belt drive here. There you go. And um, what tools are we going to need? We're going to need a 4 mil Allen key. And this time also a 6 mil Allen key. So we're going to do the bigger bolts for the motor mount base. And it's best that you also have maybe a small little clamp, a hand clamp like this. If you don't have one, it's all right. It's just that it's gonna be a little bit harder for you. And of course, uh, at the end, you will need to put back your wheel. So you will need the scratch. 19 mil. Okay, Charles, we're ready to roll. So what's the first part? Okay, so in the package, you're gonna get two of the motor mount bases. So these have specific sides to them. So you want to match the left and the right properly with each other. So here I'm going to attach my base and you're going to take one, both of the M8 screws and start putting those in. So I have one on each of the ends here. And then you're going to grab your six mil Allen key. You're going to tighten that all the way down, just like so. Remember that these screws aren't coming out for a while, so it's good to give them a little bit more of a tighten. And no Loctite. No Loctite. They all come pre-Loctited. So the next step is to actually get the springs in. So we're going to start with getting the springs one and two in. There's little slots that come in the base plate here. And the next part is to put the motor mount of the actual motor. So what we're going to do is I'm going to push this in and slot it so it will slot in 
and then it should be in there. So Jay, if you want to grab this, yep. I'm going to need you to clap this down, which makes it a little bit harder yep. for me to do it like this. Oh, other side. Okay. That's it. Like so, this? Yeah. If you want to clamp it down best you can like this, and then that way the spring will go okay. inside and yep. you're able to put in your two screws that go inside the motor mount base over here. So I'm gonna put the one in first, just like that. And then I'm gonna screw it, not all the way in, but enough so that it can make a hold. Just like that. I can undo this. And then it's already self-tensioning. It's just a little bit loose because it doesn't have the other one in. And here we go, like that. Okay, so we just finished putting the last screw in. And the last thing that you want to do when you have your drive set up and it's looking like this, is that you want to put in your motor pulleys and your wheel pulleys in. So when you're putting in the motor pulleys, it's one C-clip at the end. It's going to be the one motor key that goes in between so that it sits on the motor. And then you're going to need the C-clip on the outside ring so that it doesn't come out. And the last thing is that when you order these alone, they only come without the 72T motor uh, wheel pulley. And you'd also have to purchase your own motor pulley depending on what gear ratios you really want on the side. For all the Falcon owners and you buy a board with a adjustable belt drive, you will get everything, the full kit by itself. And after that, you're good to ride. Bam. All right, guys, so that was it for the self-tensioning belt system. Uh, we showed you how to uh, adjust your belt and also how to install the proper system. I hope you enjoy it. If you still have a few questions, make sure to write it down uh, in the comments. And uh, that was it for us. Have a nice ride and have fun. Ciao, guys. Ride safe. <laughs>